Oh, good morning, Square Steaders. Today we are going to talk about a few of the things that are coming up and th some of the things we have done, such as this. Still wonder how, yeah, you always make it right. And maybe it's all chance, but either way, you showed me how to reach. Yeah, there she is. She's, she's playing the, the Where's Jesse thing. Here we are at the, uh, shindig. the shindig here in Searcy, Arkansas, at the White County Fairgrounds. And uh, we are seeing lots of people. I'm going to give you a little tour around here. Lots of people. <laughs> Well, we did make it to the shindig. I think we were the only channel that didn't put out a video about it. And uh, as you could tell from that audio that it was so loud, it was just hard to do anything. It was very full. Uh, looks like a great success for Roots and Refuge and VW. But we came back with some, some tomato plants of Jessica's. Three different types of, of tomato plants. I uh, already have those in the ground. Looking forward to seeing what those produce they're types we've never even heard of so and she does all heirloom so we're really excited about saving the seeds and carrying that tradition on so uh, yesterday I decided it was going to be a good idea to, to take the tractor I've had mulch sitting on this area for a little over a year and I took the tractor and scraped all that mulch over into a pile over there um, and then decided it was time to pull out the Premier One fencing and energize it and put our Brahma chickens in there and put them to work other than just sitting in a pen. So that is what they are doing. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but after they are done, we're going to put some of that uh, big old weed tarp on top of it and maybe grow purple hole peas. I'm not sure what we're going to grow. We're going to grow something there though. Uh, Anyway, uh, quick, quick little uh, view of the setup here. I've got, I think this is 160 feet of Premier One fencing. We've had it for many years. Uh, and we have it on this Parmac 25 mile solar charger. Now, if I sound a little congested, that is because the pollen is insane right now. I just drove from Little Rock down here and the interstate is just a green chartreuse yellowish haze and uh, it is horrible and my sinuses are officially affected by it. It's weird, it's just, it, you just watch like a pine tree and it looks like billows of smoke but it's just green, just oh, pollen is rough this year. Anyway, so if I sound a little stopped up, that's what's going on there. Uh, we've got their water and feed out here and we're just gonna see how this works do the old uh, Justin Road style I'm, I'm even thinking about building a chick shaw chick shaw um, To do this all summer. I've got like this little minor goal in mind and that goal is I don't want to mow this year I want I've been trying to get away from uh, mowing and using every bit of grass that we have and utilizing it for something and this is one of those areas that i really hate mowing and i'd really like to get this under control along with everything else now i know the the old saying grow food not lawns i don't think this is what they meant when i start putting chickens and and uh chicken tractors and all that on my lawn because I'm gonna do that on the front yard too I'm gonna put the quail in the front yard as a matter of fact they already are on the front yard so you had nine males and 15 females I think is what our last count was um, and this little system's working out good so I move them every day so far that is kind of a pain because quail are so small they you lift this up just a little bit and they can get out but um, that's where we're at right now. I've got a horse over here that is pacing and pacing and pacing, waiting for me to put him over here into the green side of the pasture. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick. Oh, hardhead. He don't want to eat his hay anymore, which is fine. 
we'll just get some more put out another bale he has made quite the mess we just the rain since december this has not stopped raining and especially in his area being such a beast that he is uh he tears this up pretty quick but everything is still everything's like a swampland right now ridiculous he's like shut up quick off and let me out so yeah i am hoping that this is the year of no mowing wouldn't that be great a year where we don't mow uh got things going on in the backyard to make sure that that happens and uh things in the front yard and this whole garden hill thing i think we may i, I may end up having to mow just a little bit but uh i would love to not ever have to buy another riding lawnmower one of our andalusians that's a splash andalusian that is getting very curious about what's on the other side of this fence she's probably gonna get shocked and then our rooster andalusian rooster and we got a oh right there we got a a blue blue hen those are the ones running the yard i'm probably going to allow a couple of jersey giants to run the yard as well and uh keep these brahmas uh keep them working they're big enough they can scratch good they're doing a great job they're tilling up the ground you know and this is a great no-till area because i've had this mulch on it for the last couple of years so this is going to be real easy to work um and should have no reason to bring our tiller in here that's the other thing i want to eliminate one day is not ever having to use the tiller again i got a notification in our mailbox that we have a package waiting so let's go find out what that's all about go go town come on let's go town I say time is 
Okay, got us a little package. Uh, this is from our good friends Kyle and Tasha over at Trip H Farm. They have Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. I'll leave a uh, link in the description, but y'all go check them out, and I'm about to tell you why, because what's in this box? They're becoming the kings and queens of the elderberry bush. Uh, so we have gotten some cuttings from them and hopefully we're not too late to get these things going because I tell you what with all this pollen and everything that's going on around here and it stopped up as me and Jesse are we need some elderberry in our life so let's go take the long trip back home and uh, see if we can't get these things going what do you say parse parse he don't care he said let's just go All right, let's see what they have in store for us. Another bag. They did a better job of doing this than I would have. Oh my, look at that. We already got sprouts. Looking good, second node. Good stuff. All right, we gotta get you started. So, like I said, uh, they are a brand new channel. I think as of right now, they have like three videos out. So they're brand new on the scene. Now's the time to go check them out. Uh, they're going to start doing all this elderberry stuff. And uh, we are lucky enough to get some of them from them. And uh, go check them out. Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. All the links in the description. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to end this because I am snotting and tearing and... and I, when you see this, it'll be tomorrow that I have the uh, me and Jesse, and she's just as bad. We've got to go to the Arkansas uh, Homesteading Conference and talk to people, and uh, I'm sure we sound great. Anyway, it's only getting better. Hopefully, this rain comes in today and uh, gets rid of some of this pollen because it is. We normally never get affected by pollen. It's. Uh, you know, we're outside so much. This year is just a humdinger, I guess. And, whew, it's rough. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to get out of here, and uh, we will see you on the next video.